Today we're going over my top 10 overall tips and tricks for veiled experts that will make you a better player. This is a broad spectrum of tips and I guarantee you'll learn something new whether you are brand new or experienced to the game. Shoulder peeking instead of aiming down sights is in most situations always the move. The shoulder aim is really accurate and when peeking around corners you will have more vision and actually be able to shoot around the corner versus aiming down the sights. I went ahead and rebound my shoulder peek to a key on my mouse and kept ADS on my right click so I can do both separately. There aren't very many games out there at the moment that use the rolling mechanic, so I want to emphasize how important rolling is to use. There is no difference between roll 1 and roll 2 in the key binds as far as I've been able to tell so you are welcome to unbind one of them. If you know where someone is and you're about to peek that corner it is almost always beneficial to roll. I also typically almost always roll when I start taking damage as you die really fast in Veiled Experts and it is better to stay alive and heal than get knocked down. That brings us right into 3. Bandages and armor are the best utility to buy. Try to always max out how many armors and bandages you can buy each round and don't be afraid to use them. Even if you're only just missing a sliver. The other utility I prioritize are recon grenades and gas grenades. Speaking of fast, a quick tip is you move a lot faster with your knife out. Whenever traversing the map, you ha always have your knife out. This will get you into the next spot with cover a lot faster and get you out of the spawn a lot faster. You can tap your lean keys to change the shoulder you are peeking over as to see more around the respective corner. Hey. You dropped this. Looting every killed enemy is very impactful. I typically just hold F to auto loot as to avoid having to click through the menu. You can pick up and take any equipment including armor, cans, self revives, etc. Keeping your economy up and impacting their economy at the same time. Speaking of money and managing your money, there are many unique ways to use your money. Wow, I just said money way too many times in that sentence. But keeping your mind open to these possibilities is one more step to victory. For example, pulling your money round one to get a vector or another gun for one of your teammates gives you a big advantage when going into a round one where most people will only have pistols. They or you will then be able to sell that SMG or shotgun and be able to upgrade it in a later round. You can change your loadout and perks in the main menu. Feel free to look at what suits best. I will show you on screen what I currently use on almost every character to increase survivability. There are explosives lined all across the map that you can destroy to damage nearby enemies and destroy parts of the map, taking away cover from the enemy. You can also shoot away a lot of the cover exposing enemies behind it. These explosives are glowing red. Also, a lot of the cars are explosive as well. Number 10, parkour. There are places around the map you can literally scale all the way up. You can also hang on the side of buildings and move right to left allowing you to hide in some very inconspicuous spots or get to a different spot to climb up out of sight. Bonus tip, you can change your weapons attachments in game that you're using. I suggest using vert grip on almost every gun and a four times when applicable. As most ranges you aren't going to use the four times, you'll be shoulder aiming instead. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.